Hello. If anyone is here, please say something in the comments so that I know I can begin. Um, if you can see me and if you can hear me, um, somebody, let me make sure I'm in the right comments stage. Okay. Alexis. Hello. Okay. Hi. I am Beth Bimbo. And hi, 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 hi. Okay. I see you guys. Thank you. Um, I invented the best product that you never knew you were going to need um, for your baby. It is the Busy Baby Mat. And it is a placemat that suctions to surfaces. And then you attach toys so that your baby can drop and throw all their toys and they never end up on the floor. So that's just like a summary of what it is. But let me tell you a whole bunch more. First of all, welcome to my garage. I am a mom. Um, I invented this after my first son was born. He's now three and a half and I have a nine month old. Um, I graduated this summer from my basement to my garage. So business is growing, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just me. So I'm not a big company um, like a munchkin or anything like that. It's literally just me. When you buy from my website, you're buying from me and I'm sending them from my little shipping table right over here. Um, I'm in Minnesota. Uh, and this was my idea after my first son was born. A lot of people, Jessica, have never heard of this before. And this turns out to be the hardest thing about this business. Like I had this idea. I've never done anything like this before. I was in the army. I was not a product developer or in consumer good products or anything like that. Um, but I had the idea after my son was born, I went online to buy something. It wasn't there. So now here we are. Um, so I had the idea in 2017, finally figured out how to get them made and get them on the market in March of last year, 2019. So now I've been selling them for a little over a year and a half, almost two years on Amazon and my website. If you want to buy one, buy it from my website, please. Um, Amazon takes 30%. So it's kind of a necessary evil. I have to sell on Amazon because that's where people shop to include myself. When I'm looking for a product, I look on Amazon. Um, so I have to sell them there, but they take so much. Um, so please order from my website. You'll get better customer service. You have a discount. Prego 15 is your Prego Expo discount for 15% off your whole order that never expires. Um, okay. So let me tell you more about this because I invented it for using in restaurants. That's where I had the first problem. I went out to lunch. So Deborah, I hate to admit, um, and I'm working on this, they are made in China. It is literally just me. I still have my full-time job. So whatever I have left after my mortgage and daycare goes to this business. I have eight companies in Minnesota right now that I am vetting out um, to see now that I'm making these in higher scale, making more of them at once. Um, I'm revisiting U.S. manufacturing, so I've got eight companies I need to interview in Minnesota to see if they can be a little bit competitive with China. But yes, they are made in China. I have them safety tested, third-party testing. It is, I will stand behind this 100%. The quality is amazing. Um, if you have any concerns about that, um, they're done in a clean factory. They are responsibly made. I have an agent who goes there and makes sure it's not you know, kids working or anything like that. It's a, it's a great factory. So the coolest thing about this, and this is the spearmint. I see someone says they love this color. This is one of the original colors. My two original colors are spearmint and pewter. Um, and everybody was like, we want more colors. We want more colors. So you can see back here, I've got orange, yellow, blue, and pink. I added, um, but still my top selling colors are spearmint and pewter. Um, so yes, I have those in six colors. Now, I keep wanting to tell you how cool this is. I invented it for the restaurant um, because that's where I encountered the problem. I went to lunch with a couple of girlfriends who brought their one-year-old babies and the whole lunch was like these girls dropping everything or reaching for like the salt pepper, all that stuff. So I went online on Amazon right then, Amazon, to buy something for my son so that he wouldn't be that distraction. And I couldn't find anything that would like really do the job. One of my girlfriends was a germaphobe. So she just like went on and on about how you should not put baby's food on the table. And even some of the plates at restaurant are not actually as clean as you think they would be. And plus babies like swipe the plates and more than likely going to throw them on the ground anyway. So I wanted a placemat and I wanted something that you could tie their toys to and it didn't exist. So now it does. Works great in most restaurants. But now nobody's going to restaurants because we're in a pandemic. Um, but 
everyone is at home all the time. So this is my little Ikea high chair. This is actually, I had to clean this up. Um, I brought it from the house because it had food and muck on it. But so this is the orange mat. This is like, can you guys see this? I'm picking the high chair up with the tethers. It's sticking. So it's got those four suction cups on the back. The surface has to be clean and the mat has to be clean. Um, a lot of people complain about suction cup products because they don't they don't stick. They never stick. Suction cups are not the greatest invention in the world. They're great, but um, they only stick to smooth, clean surfaces. So if it's not sticking great, probably got to clean it. The other quirky thing is food grade silicone has a natural tendency. Let me just touch. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it has a natural tendency to collect dust and lint. Um, and that's just the nature of the material. If I had the additive in here that would repel that stuff, then it's no longer food safe. So really all it takes is a quick wipe with a baby wipe, sticks down great. Um, but even cooler about the suction is, um, you can see I'm using this on the high chair. There's the restaurant use. I've got it on my son's walker down here. Um, if you look on this poster, you see this guy on the shopping cart. You wrap the mat around any handle and those suction cups line up. Okay, so now baby is big enough to sit in a, in a shopping cart. Baby's probably also teething. So they can teeth on this instead of those nasty cart handles. It's the same material as teething toys, and it's got these little ridges and texture. They love chewing on it. Plus, they love chewing on the tethers. Um, so it's awesome for shopping carts. And the first four months when baby is just sitting in their carrier um, because they can't physically sit up yet, you can wrap this around the carrier handle. And if you've got a carrier handle that's kind of curved or a little bigger, you can wrap it the other way so it's a little bit bigger. You can wrap this around your carrier handle and then you can just hook up different toys for baby to like bad at, just something to visually stimulate them. So when you're waiting for appointments or if you do go out to eat and you have baby just sitting in the carrier next to the table, they have something that stimulates them. Also, I am currently using this in a couple other ways. I am using this right now. My son is going to be nine months old in three days. I'm using it on the window in my living room. He loves to stand up and play, and this keeps him standing even longer. Um, daycare centers that have been using this say they love it for mealtime, but they actually love it even more for playtime because they put it on the mirror, like above the belly bar that they have, um, and babies are playing more standing up, which is helping with their gross motor development. So they're standing, they're building leg muscles, they're helping on um, balance. Right now, my almost nine month old is standing, freestanding by himself balancing, which my older boy wasn't even attempting to do that at this point. Not that I'm in a rush for him to do that, but I think it's happening because he's just standing and playing more with this mat. The other way, oh, I see a question. Your cats would love it on the window. Um, I thought I saw a question about high chairs. So this is only size I have, and it's the same size as a sheet of like computer paper. So if I just grab something from my desk here, you see how this is like the same size as a piece of computer paper. So you can use that to test if you already have a high chair to see if it will fit. If you have the Stokey high chair, it will not stick to that tray. There's something weird about that tray that no suction cup will stick to it. I don't know what the deal is. Um, if I were to make this in other sizes, literally each size would take over $20,000 just to like create the mold to get them made. And I don't have that kind of money. So we have one size and it does fit most high chairs. This Ikea antler, an antler antelope is a pretty small tray on this high chair. Um, and I've actually seen people with smaller high chairs take the mat and they'll suction to the front lip or even underneath. I have a couple people who have um, submitted pictures of the the Bumbo um, little seat with the tray on it and they have it just folded under the mat or under the tray and over the tray because the suction cups stick anywhere that's clean and smooth. So you can really do a lot with it. Um, so window, okay, bathtub. This is another fun one. So with my first son, like he grew out of the, the infant tub. So now he's sitting in the regular tub and I'm sitting there watching him and his little toy goes floating away. He goes to reach for it and like faster than I even thought imaginable, he like flipped and rolled into the tub and his face went under the water. And I was like, oh, like the first time I, 
the Nomi high chair, I'm not sure, Ivy. You have to check, um, do the piece of paper thing to see if it fits on that tray. And then also, if you have anything else with a suction cup on it, you can test that. Um, so anyway, as a first time mom, I Googled it and learned about dry drowning and then didn't sleep for three nights because I'm watching my son to make sure he doesn't dry drown in his sleep. So now I use this on the bathtub wall with my nine month old. He's just two, it's food grade silicone, Caitlin, yes, food grade silicone. It's totally safe for chewing on, dishwasher safe, food safe, everything. On the bathtub wall, my now almost nine month old is facing away from me and he's playing with this. So now I can scrub him, I can pour water on him, I can get him cleaned up, and he doesn't even know what's going on because he's just playing with this thing. So that's awesome. Um, I showed you guys the shopping cart. Ooh, markers. I get so excited about this, you guys. Um, I especially love it now that I have a baby I can use it with. So with my first son, by the time that I got this made, he was too big for the tethers. We were kind of past the scroll, the throwing stage. But I still use this as a clean place to throw his food. So we'd go to like the food court in the mall or Arby's. I'd set this on the table and throw his food on there. And then these are just regular Crayola washable markers. You can color. He can color on them. And just like a regular baby wipe comes right off. So it's awesome to keep kids say, um, busy while they are, uh, Tina, don't look up dry drowning. <laughs> so the little, the little washable markers fit right through that hole on the tether. So when baby is just first starting to get big enough to, you know, hold a marker or something like that, you can keep the marker attached and they can color. Um, or just take this off so it's easier to show. You can wrap around anything and push the ball through the hole. Of course, like I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it. So you can also do this with a spoon. Okay, so now what I'm doing with my son is I am putting, pretend my, pretend my little, uh, actually here, let me take my marker and replace it with this super adorable little elephant spoon. This was invented by a little girl that was on Shark Tank. She recently sold it to Munchkin. So what I do, is I put food in here, like puree stuff, and then hook this up. And I just let my son sit in the high chair. And he does this while the rest of us are eating dinner. And he's not old enough to like scoop and eat and scoop and eat. But he's chewing on this. And he's learning that when he dips it in there, he's getting food on it. And it tastes good. And I'm not picking up a spoon off the floor every two seconds. And he's figuring out how to eat. Um, so that's awesome. Which leads me to, this is not available yet, you guys, but this is going to be so cool. This is my next product. It is the Busy Baby Teething Spoon. So you can see I've got a tether in the bottom. It's custom made to fit with the tethers. And then it has this little head on it that will collect food when they hit the thing. And it's got these little arms that keep them from putting it too far in their mouth for choking. And then it's food grade silicone, like everything else. And it's got these cool textures that they love to chew on. So not only will it be an awesome teething toy, but it's also going to be a cool thing for them to practice self-feeding. When they get to that point, you can connect it or not. So what questions do you have? I know I'm talking a million miles an hour because um, I'm so excited about it. Um, but what questions does anybody have? It's dishwasher safe. Um, daycares are running it through a sanitizer four times a day, have been for over a year. They've, they're like brand new. Um, food grade silicone is an amazing product. I think if anybody was on the easy peasy talk, um, they also use food grade silicone. It's just an amazing, it doesn't ever go bad. It doesn't ever like grow germs and stuff. It's awesome. The teething spoon I'm hoping will launch in January. Um, my website is busybabymat.com. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook um, at Busy Baby Matt. They are $24.99. So for $24.99, you get the mat and then two tethers. And then it also comes with this sleeve. Okay, so I'm gonna it's gonna be kind of weird to show you guys, but you roll your mat up kind of like this, just kind of roll it up. You put the sleeve on your arm, grab the end of this, and then you pull the sleeve over it, okay? So it comes with this sleeve, and then from here you can further just smash it up. 
So like I said, when I had this with my son, when he was beyond the tether point, I still carried this like in my regular purse with some washable markers. There was one time that I went to the oil change place and he was just being nutso. So I took this thing out. I stuck it on the window, the oil change place, and he just colored on it the whole time and draw, drawed what he drew, what he saw outside. Um, you can change the toy. So it comes with the tethers that you use these tethers to hook up whatever. I've seen people send me pictures of their kitchen whisk hooked up to these things. So these have three holes in them. You go through or around whatever, and then you can pick which hole you want to use to connect it. So like with something this small, I can use the first hole. Um, something a little bit bigger, like this llama. Let's just go around this way. I would use the second hole. If you want to go around the leg of like, let's say you have one of those stuffies that has um, the pacifier on it, you could go around the leg of the little giraffe or whatever the stuffy is. Um, again, the price is $24.99, the mat with two tethers and the travel sleeve. And then you can also buy, oh, I didn't even tell you guys about this. Oh, okay. Yes, you can buy more tethers separately. And this is why. These things are insanely awesome. Not only for teething, because unlike other passy clips and stuff that have cords or fabric, they don't get nasty. They're food grade silicone, so they clean easily. Um, and babies love teething on this, like this little knobber. They love teething on it and it's safe. I have these safety tested. I have them do um, aggressive, I forget what it's called, aggressive use testing where they pull, 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 chew on them. I mean, they're safety tested. They're not invincible, but they're tested really, really well. For two tethers are $4.99 on the website. They come now in eight colors. I just got these last week, which I'm super excited about. So I, so here's my carrier. This is a baby Bjorn from 1989 that I'm using, but I have permanently hooked onto this tethers with the TV thing. So whenever I throw my baby in here, I've always got this. I have them permanently wrapped around his stroller um, straps, his car seat, the handle on his car seat. My husband actually has one attached to the, like the oh shit handle in his car. So it just kind of hangs from the oh shit handle. I don't know the official name for that. So sorry for saying shit, but that's the only thing I know it as. Um, I do have toys on my website. Yes, I have, the, I have two companies I absolutely love are Baby Banana, and they have their banana in blue, pink, and yellow. And then also this little sharky guy. And then the other company is Manhattan Toy Company, who is also a Minnesota company. Both of these companies are family-run companies. Super awesome humans. Um, so Manhattan Toy Company has some rattles and teethers that work really well at the mat, too. I have those on my website. Um, website is busybabymat.com. Rosa, I'm not in any stores yet. I'm finalizing my retail packaging now. And I just actually right before this pitch to Target. Um, crayons, I don't know. I actually have not tried it with crayons. And I don't, I have a little kids area in here for my kids, but I don't think we have crayons out here. So I don't know. I don't know about crayons. Um, I know washable markers are awesome on it. And then dry erase markers you can use, but they um, take a little more scrubbing to get off. Where Dryer or regular washable markers don't need anything to come off. Um, oh my gosh, I only have two minutes left, you guys. Okay, what else? Um, surfaces, just to manage expectations. You cannot stick suction cups to everything. They will stick really, really great to anything that's smooth, like um, mostly high chair trays, um, smooth tables. If you have a wood table, it depends on the finish. So like this is my wood desk. Like, yeah, it kind of sticks to this. I wouldn't say it sticks the greatest. Um, baby bottles. So one thing I do with sippy cups, and you can do, and I recommend, this is another reason I recommend extra tethers. These are restricted in length by safety standards. So I can't make them any longer, but you can attach one tether to another tether and then you have a longer one. Just watch your kids so they don't accidentally like do any, you know, hurt themselves with it. Um, they really shouldn't. These do come out too. Um, they come apart. Um, but yeah, these colors are all new. I just got them literally last Thursday. So less than a week ago. All right, Prego15 is your coupon code for 15% off the entire website. 
And I think that is my time. So good luck everybody with your pregnancies 